guess who forgot their cameras this week? Yes, I know, it's not ideal, but I thought this would be a great opportunity to give you a cab tour. So here goes. So this truck is a Scania Next Gen 500S and it's a low cab version. The first thing I'll show you is around the driver's seat and the driver positioning. So I have a leather seat in here and I have armrests on both sides if I need them, but I very rarely use them to be honest. And also this seat has a heated seat and an air-cooled seat. So in the winter, you can warm yourself up by the seat and there's a little button on the side down here for it. And in the summer, you can put air conditioning through the seats and that is through these little holes here on the seat. There is also an adjustment underneath a lever where you can pull up and either push the seat back or put it forwards to wherever you want it. Um, and there's also bits on the seat down the side where you can move the seat back or pull it forwards, depending on where you want your seat. So it's really about driver comfort. Then in front of me, I have the steering wheel and I have buttons on the steering wheel. This puts the radio volume up and down. I have cruise control, so I can put cruise control on or take it off there. Um, I've got phone answering down this side. This is where I do my daily checks bit. So I can access the main screen. And um, drive safely. Drive safely. I can access to do startup checks. I can access my echo information for the day and see how much driving and um, working time I have done and I have got left which is very useful then I have stalks on the side which are the normal ones like you would get in a car side you have got your windscreen wipers which is on a flick back and forwards and then you can flash your lights with that side and the little button that is for your windscreen wash then on the other side, you have your controls to go forwards or your controls to go backwards because it's an automatic and that's literally how easy it is. Um, and this is also the engine brake as well. So you can put that on or off with that stick as well. Along the side on the door here, we have your windows can go up or down. And the same for the other side, you can lock your door on here. You can adjust your mirrors from this section. You've got your heated mirror element, uh, your lights, put your lights, side lights, full lights, automatic lights, and then you've got your fogs and your spotlights and working lights. There are air blowers all the way along for your heating or air conditioning. And then down here, I've got my adjustments to um, put the air up at the back or at the front or to level it out again. I've got my hazards. These are all the safety features. So to make sure that you don't go at the back of somebody or if you cross the white line, it'll give you a, a signal. And then this is for your hill start. Then you've got down here, you can turn your reversing warning on and off. You have your PTO, which is stands for power takeoff, not please turn over. Your PTO puts power into, say, whatever you have on your trailer to do your work. My PTO on this vehicle is for the hydraulic ram, and that powers the hydraulic ram. Then I've got my air horns, which are on or off. So down here is where I keep my sheet remote, and there's another little pocket there. I've got a really good radio here. Hello, <laughs> that does all sorts of DAB radio, camera, phone, sat nav. The sat nav is actually very good. Not that I really use it, but when I have, it has been really good. And also, of course, my truck junkie um, badge there. And then down here, we have uh, your temperature controls, your night heater, um, 
Oh, and that is a, a park cool button. So you can either have it on, I think it's low for about eight hours or high for two hours. And that's for when you're parked up at night and it's really hot and you can press that button and it will give you air conditioning for either high for two hours or low for eight hours. Uh, you've got your windscreen clearing and you've got the direction of where you want your air blown. And then we've got your inside lights in the cab. And then here you've got your weight transfer button. So when you're loaded, you can transfer your weight up so that you can get a bit more grip. And then this brings, in my case, my midlift axle up. So when I'm empty, I will use my, put my midlift up so it gives me more traction on the road. And this here, this I've luckily never had to use. This is my diff lock. You have got some USB ports here and here and here, which are really useful. So under here we have like a cigarette lighting charger. So I've got a cup, two cup holders there and a cup holder there, which is really useful. In here, we have a tray to eat your dinner on. So this is probably one of my favorite features actually, and it's something that I've never had before, but it does make a difference having somewhere to eat your tea without sort of trying to hold it awkwardly or sat in your the seat behind your wheel or sat on your bed or something like that. And it's it's just a lot nicer than um, trying to hold a hot, hot bowl or a hot plate and try and eat it like that. So yeah, one of my favorite features actually. Up above my head, I have my taco. That's where I put my taco card in and that records everything that I do all day, whether I'm driving, resting, working, whatever. Um, then up here, I have my beacon lights. I have my sunroof, which is up there that, that opens and closes the sunroof and that is for my top lights. My central part here, I have like almost like a little worktop shelf thing, which is very handy. Then in here is the drawer for my paperwork. And then I have a larger drawer just underneath, which I keep all sorts in, my sunglasses, tape measure, spare bulbs, and just general, bits and pieces that I will need throughout. It's a bit of a bit of a junk drawer, but it's just really good to, and handy to keep loads of stuff in there. So up here, I have three cupboards all the way along. I have a smaller one here. And actually, because I have the lower cab, I actually have smaller cupboards than say full height cab would have. Then here, we have microwave, I keep a jug to boil water and I've got a couple of cups in there. Then up here, there's normally a box of cereal in there, but I've actually run out and I keep my tea and bits and pieces, a few cups up there. Underneath those cupboards, there is a sun visor, which to be fair, is very handy that it also has this because without that, when the sun's really bright and low, the sun would still be in my eye. So that for me as a short person is really handy for me. And there's also one this side. Oh, and that one has got an extra bit as well. I, to be honest, I didn't know that because I've never sat there when it's been really low sun. But yeah, that's that's really good as well. Up here we have, next to the cupboards, there's like a little bit of a pocket there, which I don't tend to put much in because they're quite shallow. Um, I've got some spare taco rolls up there, but that's about it really. And on this side, I just keep my high vis up there so that it's just handy to get out quickly. And then at the back, I also have three cupboards, which again, they are smaller because I have the low cab. But in this one, I have, oh, I've got a drying towel there to dry the curb off. Um, and in this, oh, shouldn't have done that with one hand really, should I? Right, put the camera down. 
So I've got bits and pieces in there that I might need. I've got a sewing kit, some hair stuff, glasses, sunglasses and all sorts of stuff like that. And then up there I have my map in there and some bits and pieces. Then in my middle cupboard, I have all my wash stuff for going to have a shower. Then in the basket here, I don't want to. So that is a load of food. This here, I've got some beans, some porridge, some rice, sardines, all sorts of things really that are just handy to have out on the road. And in the other cupboard I've got a big coat there and I have got my high-vis stuff for quarries because they like you to wear high-vis trousers and long sleeve high-vis vests so that's all up there so then we go down to the bed area so I've got my curtains here for night time I made these myself handmade by myself then I've got my quilt here. I like to have a double quilt that I fold in half and then I don't need a bottom sheet because I use half of the quilt as a bottom sheet, if that makes sense. So I'm like folded like a little taco. Back here we have a night heater control and your light switches. So it's, it's above the bed, although I've always thought it should be that side because most people put their head up that end, I think. I certainly always have. I know a lot of people do put their head at that end and I think that should be that end instead. But I don't know, even when I went abroad and drove uh, left-hand drive ones, they put it on the opposite side. So I think they think that you put your head at that end. At both ends of the bed, I have a light one there and one there. And there's also shelves at each end of the bed, which I keep bits and pieces in that I may need. I've got my my own light board there which I had in my old truck as well. Oh and that's that's the um, Scania emblem that I had on the front of uh, my other two trucks, my R-series trucks. So the bed. The bed actually pulls out to make itself bigger. So what I'd need to do is pull both seats right forwards. That lever pulls the bed out to make it bigger. So then the other feature that it has, apart from pulling it out to make it bigger, I can also lift it up to see underneath into my side lockers. So if I lift it up, I can see into my side lockers. I've got a drawer under here as well. And I have the fridge. So in under here, I have all my cleaning stuff, which I can access from the side locker. As you can see, it's quite full. Um, and then I have a cupboard, a drawer in here. I've got some spare cloths in here, which are, which are cloths which are clean, that haven't been used. I've got my washing up bowl at the back there with some water. I can actually, this one does pull out so that I can see to it, but I always take my, my water bottles home with me to recycle them. And I've obviously got some fresh water in there as well. And then on this side, I have like a little tray over the side locker. So I can put some stuff in there, which to be honest, I've just got bits and pieces for sort of doing lights and stuff like that. Some bin bags, but I can access the side locker this side from there as well. And I've also got the fridge in here as well. So I've got some, some meals in there, some homemade salads, fruit, milk. Oh, and I've got my own little uh, vanity mirror there that I made myself. 
This chair is also slightly different. So this is called a captain's chair. So in the evening, you can lift the bottom up, pull it forwards, twist it round, and you can sit to the side, which is quite handy really, because it just, it makes you feel more included in the cab space rather than having just a bed behind and it, it just opens the space out to a bit more like, um, what do they call it? Feng Shui. In the door area down here, I also have a little device that I can pull out and that goes over the handle to get in and out. And that basically just stops anybody from being able to break in. There is one thing that sets aside the S cabs from the R cabs and that is the flat floor. So this cab has a completely flat floor right the way across. There's no hump in the middle. It's just flat all the way across, which I didn't know that I needed that, but it's actually a really nice feature because as you turn around, you're not trying to sort of get your leg out and lift. I know, I know it's, um, it's a bit of a luxury that you probably don't really need, but it's quite nice when you've got it. As I get out, you can see the lever to pull the chair forwards and backwards. You've also got some other adjustments for the seat here as well and you've got the heated seat and the air-cooled seat which has two settings. You've also got some buttons there to put some air into the seat at the base of your spine and at the top for comfort and you've got the tipper lever there as well. That cord also goes to a handheld device that can adjust the air on the front and the back. The S cab also has four steps opposed to the three steps, taking it up to the flat floor. The side lockers, I just need to pull that and that opens my side lockers. As you can see, I've got my cleaning stuff in there and I've got my hard hat. My gloves are actually down there because I am tipping at the moment. Normally my gloves sit in there and I've got a locker the same size the other side, it goes back quite far as you've seen from under the bed. Hello ducks. And then, so that's a pull cord for that side and I've got my tools in this side. Bits and pieces. That's my washer bottle fluid. So this is the near side and I've got obviously my number plate and I've got everything boxed in at the back here. I've got um, an infill here as well so you can't see all the dirt. I've got the picture on the back which is uh, Davy Jones and the Flying Dutchman from the Pirates of the Caribbean film. I have nice side skirts and uh, catwalks so you really can't see any of the dirty bits. So on the front, on this this particular truck that I've got, I've put two double burners on and normally I've had four before but I went for two for this one. It just seemed right. I don't really know why. It just seemed right at the time. Sort lights on the mirrors and on the step. And there's some ducks. Hello ducks. How are you? Don't get me mind. Mm. So on this side, it's this side is basically the same. I've got my side skirts, my ad glue, my hydraulic fluid for the ram, powered by the PTO as we found out just now. Uh, that's my mid lift axle, and that is my drive axle. To open the bonnet is this one here. Just inside the door. And that opens up, Ooh, that's wet, <laughs> that opens up the bonnet so you can see inside and you can open these as well. If you're tipping the cab you'd have to open those because otherwise you'd um, break them. And that opens up as well so you can sit on that if you want and have your lunch. I've actually got two, two side lockers so I've got that big one there 
and with this button here I've also got got to pull on it quite well no sorry I've got to do it with two hands compartment. What I'm going to have to do though is take some of this out because it's all in the way. So I'm not, I'm not sure how to film this but basically in here, in here it's a secret compartment. Well, not that secret but so this comes off and in here you have got your towing eye. And bits and pieces. This, so this is, this is the bit that tilts your cab. I don't know if it's so that people just don't go on and do it themselves but um, now I've shown everyone so, yeah. so that towing eye there goes around the front you just take that little bit off there that bit of plastic and it screws into there where the towing eye used to be was in here so one day I got stuck on a farm late at night and I went to look for the towing eye and I was like, well, where's that gone? Because on my other Scania's it was there. But it turns out that actually it is. That little bit of plastic there. You get something in behind there and flick it off. Try not to scratch the paint. And then you can just screw in your towing eye. So yes, this up here is uh, the Scania secret compartment. So now I've got to try and put it back together, make it secret again. I need to keep a little step ladder in here because the side lock is so deep that sometimes you just need to reach the back and it's a lot easier with a little step ladder. And to be fair, it comes in handy for polishing and different bits like that as well. And I've got one of those little side lockers on both sides as well as the big top ones. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cab tour and I'm really sorry if you didn't, but hopefully I can resume the video soon because next week I'm hoping to do a how I clean my truck for a truck show video. So that will take up most of my time and we've got Devon Truck Show coming up. So hopefully I'll get a video out on the road soon, but Devon Truck Show is coming up. So I want to do a little bit about Devon Truck Show just as something a bit different. I don't think I've missed anything. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.